Cyclone. I'm Jalen Crespo, and I'm presenting my lightning talk on the aerobiotic prevalence for polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or POLIS. As a young scientist program intern working on the Doctors Rios and Schroeder's project to the uh, LDKB or the Life Detection Knowledge Base, we create an argument to be created in LDKB. The LDKB is a curated database that lays out research of certain features that can be used as evidence for life or not. The LDKB is associated with the CLD or the Center of Life Detection and NASA. The CLD is an integral tool that enables astrobiologists and astrochemists to construct their research in a way that facilitates use in mission planning for life detection outside of Earth. The CLD can help filter the abiotic or probiotic prevalence of a certain topic. Biotic prevalence being life-based processes in a said topic, abiotic prevalence being non-life-based processes for a said topic. I am looking into polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAWS. PAWS are fused ring aromatics and are found in a plethora of environments, especially space. They may be formed from once degraded organic material or from an aromatization process that condenses hydrocarbons together. This dynamic leads to heavy debate on if PAWS are of abiotic or biotic prevalence. I want to define how PAWS are from abiotic and biotic processes, though. Abiotic processes are derived from aromatization of hydrocarbons in their stellar medium. They also take part in hydrogenation and compounds. Biotic processes show how they are derived from decomposed organic material and found in rocks from the pre cambrian and Phanozoic periods. My argument shows how PAWS are from abiotic processes because they show how hydrocarbons are combined in protostellar disks and are fused into ring structures. I also show how PAWS are catalysts in hydrogenation reactions, where they are characterized by attaching hydrogen molecules onto other compounds in these mediums. On top of this, I show how PAWS are part of asteroids, which are made of carbonaceous chondrites. These chondrites are made of non-crystalline carbons and are also abiotically produced, which gives further suggestion to PAWS being abiotically uh, produced as well. Overall, this is a wonderful experience in summer internship. I learned a lot as a biologist, and I will learn and take these crucial skills in the realm of science literature to my goals of being a physician. Please feel to contact me at this Gmail. And thank you.